Hey you, what is up? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. I have a very special invitation for you. I have a webinar coming up, okay? It's called How to Become a Django Python Full Stack Web Developer and a Freelancer. That's gonna be below in the description and I'm probably gonna talk about it at the end of the video. But in this video, I wanted to give you a lot of value and I wanna give you your roadmap to becoming a web developer with Python. Now, if you're a complete beginner right now, you're like, I don't even know where to start. There are a couple of things that I wanna clarify with you that a lot of people don't talk about. So a lot of the times it's like you'll look at, you know, people are like, just do a lot of web development stuff or do a lot of coding and do a lot of data structures and algorithms and just one day cross your fingers and that's actually how you're gonna get a job, right? Just apply to like, a bunch of interviews on indeed.com, on Monster, everywhere else, and just keep doing data structures and you're probably gonna land a job one day. But a lot of you are probably not in a position where you have a developer job, right? And you wanna, you want to get that experience before you get to that entry level job that says you need three years of experience before you get that entry level job. Okay, so it's kind of a catch 22 here. So what I wanna show you is that there is a way that you can go from a beginner and then there's an awesome step before you start learning web development where you can actually be earning an income so you don't have to, and this way, you can maybe even quit what you're currently doing, okay? Some people I've talked to and you guys have told me that you're actually currently driving an Uber and want to become a coder. So like, how are you gonna go from a beginner to becoming a web developer if you're spending a lot of your time doing all that other stuff? Because coding and web development and all this stuff is actually hard and it's very time consuming and it's very demanding. So unless you're earning an income from doing this stuff, unless you can actually let go of other things that you're focusing on and make this your primary focus, it's gonna be a very long journey and that's the journey that people talk about that takes years and that takes maybe a degree and that takes maybe like just a lot of stuff that you know like certifications that you actually in reality don't really need okay so I'm gonna reveal to you my uh, process okay and I'm gonna make it as simple as possible so you can understand and follow me along so check it out okay here's the process overall process and I'm gonna break it down one by one it's a four-step process okay it's not easy but it is simple, okay? Let me say that again, it's not easy, but it is simple. So if you all, disclaimer, if you only wanna do this to make money, there are much better ways to make money and probably don't do this. But if you want to actually learn how to code, become a web developer, get committed to becoming a web developer, find time that you'd never thought that you actually had, and then go on this journey, which is actually a difficult journey, right? And become a web developer. Let me actually show you how it works, okay? So first, you're gonna start off, maybe this is where you are currently, um, or even if you're past it, whatever, right? First, you're gonna start off learning the basics. So this is step one. This is uh, learning coding, learning Python, learning variables, learning loops, learning conditional statements, uh, uh, conditional flow, right? If then statements, for loops, while loops, and just mastering basics of Python, okay? You should be able to solve things like fizz buzz, all right? Look it up if you don't know what it is. You should be able to solve basic coding problems. You should be able to solve basic coding problems. That's I'm repeating it because it's important, okay? You should be able to go on hacker rank and at least do easy problems, okay? And maybe a little bit of intermediate, all right? That's this part. So getting your fundamentals down. And now, check this out. You don't have to spend years learning coding before you start making an income. Here's an awesome way, and I'll tell you why it's an awesome way. So you need more time. Like what if you could actually start earning an income from coding, right? Wouldn't that give you a lot more time to learn coding? What if you can earn an income from the stuff that you're actually learning now? Instead of waiting till you start competing with the rest of the world, on Upwork to become a freelancer where you fight to the ground and you try to charge like $8 an hour and you still don't get a job because there's another developer in a third world country who will beat you there and charge like $4 an hour. All right, so let me show you what that step is. Coaching, all right? This is a step that a lot of people miss. Like almost everybody misses this step. This is coaching, finding somebody who's willing to pay you to learn what you currently have in your brain from learning basics of Python, okay? These people will pay you good amount of money to just learn coding from you. You can find these people online, on online platforms, okay? Like Take Lessons, Wise and Craigslist, or you could look for these people in real life and learn this stuff, okay? 
And so that's the step with coaching. This will help you make at least, okay, depending on obviously how much you work, how hard you work to find them and work with them, you'll be making at least $500 to $1,000 extra per month doing this stuff. And if you wanna scale it higher, you can scale it higher and be making even two or $3,000 a month. It won't just happen instantly, it's hard work, but it's very doable and you can earn that income and you can make that money. And what's the beautiful thing that starts happening when that you start making those two or $3,000 a month, your brain goes, holy shit, I can actually make money from coding and I can maybe spend a little bit less time on the other stuff I'm doing, right? Maybe you're doing like 40 hours a week, maybe you have another part-time job and it's not giving you time to learn coding, well, guess what? When you're coaching and making an income from coding, you can replace the other stuff you're doing with coding. So you're gonna be improving your skills massively. You're gonna be earning an income while you're actually doing it. You're gonna get experience on how to work with clients, how to get clients, how to have a recurring stream of income from clients. You'll understand how referrals work. You'll be improving so much, right? These are essential skills that you'll later need when you try to freelance as a web developer. So that's step two. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, comment below, it doesn't make sense, you're crazy. But if it makes sense, I want you to just do like a thumbs up or stand up in your chair, I don't know, do something so I know that it makes sense. Like this video, okay, do that. Step three, let's go with step three. Um, Django web development, okay, that's the third step. So how does this work? This step, now that you're actually earning an income from coding, you have room to breathe and you have time that magically appeared that didn't exist before. So now you're gonna use that time to actually learn web development in Python. The framework that I recommend using is Django. Why? Because it comes with an administrator interface built in and it kicks every other framework's ass. Okay, Node.js and all those JavaScript frameworks are really awesome and really great, but if you're working with a client and need to get them results really fast, you can save 10, 100 plus hours by just having an administrator interface kind of built from scratch, and that's what this allows you to do, okay? Meaning, like functionalities to log in, log out, have basic database, have your client, give your client the ability to like delete stuff, add stuff, and all that, okay? And handle user permissions, it kind of comes magically built in with Django from scratch. So that's really, really, really powerful. And I remember Chris Hawks actually mentioning this as well. So I actually got that from there. So thank you for that, Chris Hawks. Got it? So far, so good. It's making sense. This is where you're gonna actually take most of the time because this is the hardest part. You're gonna develop these skills. You're gonna build projects. You're gonna put those projects on your portfolio, okay? and. After you have experience building projects in this, working in this, and coaching other people, okay, you can even coach other people on Django, okay, and help them. Once you have this experience and you're earning an income from coding, you're gonna go on to the final phase, which I like to call the trusted advisor because I hate the word freelancer, all right? Freelancers, it, it, to me, just sounds like a commodity thing. You're an expense, okay? But what you want your clients to see you as no matter when you become a freelancer, no matter what you become a freelancer in, okay, whether it's coding, photography, or anything else, when you actually get to that level, how you stand out from the rest of the crowd is everybody seeing you as a trusted advisor. If you can demonstrate your value to your prospective client, okay? If you come off as an expense, you're not gonna get hired. The only way you can get hired is by being a lower expense, meaning they'll hire somebody who'll price themselves lower than you, okay? So you have to compete on pricing. But if you can demonstrate your value to your potential client, and you can show them that you're actually an investment that can actually help them increase their ROI, then they're much more likely to work with you and pay you more rather than anybody else. Does that make sense? So that's why trusted advisor, consultant, that's what you're gonna aim to be, not a freelancer. I don't like that term, but I just have to use it because it's just the easiest way to say somebody who works with clients. Does this make sense, guys? Four-step process. Simple, not easy. Requires hard work, but I mean, coding is fun as hell, right? You take your ideas, 
build something in real life, share it with the rest of the world. So you're making a deep impact in the world as you're doing all this stuff. So not only, it's not only important for money, but the reason why I have to mention money and practicality, which no other developers do, okay? It's because you might have a family right now. So not only do you have to take care of yourself, but you actually might have to take care of the people that are nearby you, your family members, okay? And I want you to live a comfortable lifestyle as well. There's no pride in poverty, okay? There's no pride in that. And that's why this channel, me, I always talk about practicality, practicality, like learn stuff and then earn an income with it, right? And even Grant Cardone, I was watching his 10X Growth Con and he says, idea to monetization, get there fast as possible. Because if you don't have money monetization, ideas die, okay? Your dreams die. It's like the lifeblood and oxygen for what you're trying to do. You're a good person, you have great intentions, but if you're not earning an income from it and you're, you're, you are barely able to survive, I doubt they're gonna actually keep doing something, right? And that's why actually most of the people who start this journey quit because the only thing that they're taught is learn coding, then learn web development, and then just apply to lots of places, cross your fingers, and maybe hopefully one day you'll get a job. That's a very tough route. There's a lot of uncertainty. I don't wanna take that route. I think you don't wanna take that route, okay? Now that I've shown you all this, I do wanna mention that my course, The Profitable Programmer, I only launch it like uh, four to six months, okay? So the last time I launched it was in November, and then I closed the doors for it, and actually I've launched it now, and the doors are open to enroll in that course, but there are two days left. That course literally takes you from a complete beginner all the way to this trusted advisor. That's the goal of that course. If you're a Django web developer, then great. Your, your steps are now shorter. All you have to do is go from here to becoming a trusted advisor, okay? If you already know coding, great. I'll show you how to coach and earn an income from it. Then I'll show you Django web development. And then I'll show you how to become that trusted advisor consultant. People will pay what you're worth and not nickel and dime you. Cool? And my awesome freaking webinar is coming, okay? So for those of you who wanna learn more how to specifically become a Python Django full stack developer, what's actually the opportunity, what do these guys get paid, all of that, that I'm gonna cover on my webinar, and that webinar I'm gonna run in two days from now, March 26th, 10 a.m., which I believe is a Monday, right? Monday, and uh, PST, okay, California time, 10 a.m. Do the math, okay? I get comments that are like, what time is that? If you can't Google it, probably don't, uh, this video isn't gonna help you that much. So come to that webinar as well, okay? And in that webinar, I'll go much, I'll dive much deeper on how to actually become a Python Django full stack web developer. And I think it's just gonna be awesome. So. I think I covered everything, okay? Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in the Profitable Programmer, go join it, don't wait. You don't wanna regret it. I'm gonna open it up later and the students who are gonna be successful now are just gonna watch them be successful. And six months later, you might still be where you are now. I don't want that to happen to you, okay? And we have a 60 day money back guarantee. So if you're not happy, just return it. That's fine. And become a trusted advisor and come to the webinar, okay? The link is in the description below. That's it, thank you so much for watching. As always, I love your faces off. This is Kazi and I'll see you in the next video.